This video is all about the pros and cons of living in Cota de Casa, California. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Sean Dezod. And I'm Courtney Dezod. And we're with Keller Williams Realty, the California Homes Group, right here in Orange County, California. And if this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything about working, eating, sleeping, living, and playing in Orange County, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the little bell so you're notified every time a new video comes out. Now we get so many calls from people looking to buy or sell a home in Orange County and we absolutely love it. So whether you're thinking about buying or selling a home, make sure you give us a call shoot us a text or send us an email or even send us a text via WhatsApp and we've got your back. Okay, so first before we go into the pros and cons of living in Cota de Casa, California, let's let's give a little overview of Cota de Casa. It's a, it's a little bit famous in <laughs> because of certain TV shows and celebrities that have lived in there. But okay, so first give the geography. So where is Cota de Casa in Orange County? So it's on the eastern, the southeastern side of Orange County, I would say. So it's, you know, as you actually are on the on the 5 freeway, really it's actually along more of the 241. Mm -hmm. but Which is a you, toll road. Yeah, but if you're actually on the 5 freeway, you would exit on Oso and you just go east. And yeah. then you would ultimately hit Cota de Casa, realistically speaking. And it's just this huge community it's about okay the community itself is about four thousand acres and there's about four thousand homes within that community which and it's guard gated yeah it's, it's guard -gated, totally yeah. guard gated community yes it's an it's actually a, a beautiful community yes. but yes. and yeah it's really nice yeah i mean when you go there it's almost like you know you've slipped into a dream it kind of reminds me even though it reminds me a little bit of you know a state because there's some huge estates especially on the northern part of it reminds me a little bit of you know estates in england although obviously not as lush nowhere near as lush <laughs> or you know on the east coast it's almost like now you're suddenly you know playing croquet and somebody's yelling at howard hughes about talking about money i mean this is the kind of you know sort of feel that you get when you're there yes and we don't talk about money here we don't care about money here mr hughes well that's because you have it Would you repeat that? You don't care about money because you've always had it. <laughs> okay. Oh, and then one thing just to note about this video is that, you know, we t in, an, in this entire channel is that we tend to film in the morning and you may wonder why is the sky gray? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the California. It's, it's the marine layer. It's the marine layer, and that's actually good because it usually burns off by the afternoon. But that's what keeps our weather really temperate. So yeah. even when it's the summer and it's hot, the so mornings and the evenings are usually still nice. Now for pictures, it's not as amazing. It does look a little stark, but that will burn off. It will be absolutely beautiful. And, but the, the trade-off is that you do get nice, cooler temperatures in the morning. Yeah, and then, so just a little bit more of an overview of Cota de Casa. So it is a little bit famous around California and the United States because certain celebrities have lived there. I mean, famously, Kobe Bryant, I mean, RIP Kobe, Kobe, we love Kobe. He actually almost bought a house there and then, you know, several Anaheim's Ducks players there are have bought houses there and Michael Chang, he's a tennis player, he's lived there and also <laughs> the Real Housewives of Orange County. I mean, that's yeah. how most people know Cota de Casa because some of the original cast members have lived or currently live in Cota de Casa. And, so, it's, and it's interesting because as we were doing a little brief research about this, I found out Courtney knew a lot about the Real Housewives of Orange County. Yes, but the question is, so if you are in Cota de Casa, are you gonna see a screaming match between the Real Housewives of Orange County? You I said didn't. three times, wow, let's she go. gave me weird. the evil eye. Did you not say that, Bruce? I don't know. I don't know. But another fun fact is that because Cota de Casa is a gated community and there's not really any shopping or dining inside there, a lot of what was filmed in the Real House of Orange County. It's actually in Rancho Santa Margarita. It's in Rancho Santa Margarita, which borders. So it's just on the uh, the northern gate. So and we also it, have a video about it. Yes. So. And so they have really like a, they have a lot of shopping right outside the gates of Cota de Casa, where you get pretty much everything you need right there. Yeah. And then another fun fact. So. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> related to Real Housewives. Yeah, we're going back. It's always about Real Housewives of Orange County. <laughs> Is that one of the original members, Vicky, she's in, she's famous for having Coto insurance. Uh, that's how she made all her money is because she's an insurance agent and that so her her company is actually in Irvine even oh. though it's called Coto Insurance. Oh, interesting. So yeah. Good fun fact. Good fun fact. Yes, for sure. So, okay. And then, okay, so let's talk about prices. So what is 
So compare it to the beat, because Cota de Casa is a very exclusive gated community. Yeah. So compare the prices to the other very exclusive part of Orange County, which is the beach. And so actually, this is an interesting thing, because you actually have to look at Cota de Casa in two different ways. One, your average, your median sales price is about, what, 1.3, 1.35 million, and which is high, actually. It's, it's higher than every, like, so the coastal part of Orange County is basically your most expensive part. And there's only two cities within that coastal community that's actually more expensive as far as the median price point, and those being Laguna Beach and Newport Beach. Uh, however, what's interesting is that Cota Casa, while its median price is on the high side, if you look at price per square foot, because these houses are pretty huge, yeah, um, it's actually very reasonable, again, for what you're getting. And then also if you want to talk about the high sale, the high sales of Cota de Casa, there is a little community it's within the community. Within the community, a gated community called Los Ranchos Estates, and that's had some, you know, some really high sales. These are huge. Again, estates. this is where like where like a property that Kobe Bryant was thinking about looking to buy, where it has actually literally a pirate ship. It's like almost like a theme park. It had it had like a lake, it had a pirate ship, it's about twenty thousand square feet. I mean it was just a massive compound. And like actually in this community, the Los Ranchos Estates yeah, I think it's about 75 homes that are there, but every home is got I mean, at least an acre, if not multiple acres of land. Yeah, yeah. So, and then there are some other homes that aren't in that community that are big estates. But you know, as you as you you enter on the south, but then as you drive north, um, the, the houses get bigger. And actually, so fun fact. Cota de Casa, that actually means hunting preserve because that's originally what this land was. It was originally developed as a hunting preserve. And it's actually one of the oldest um, master plan communities in Orange County. I think it started in the 1960s. 60s, yeah, that's yeah. That, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah. And then, okay, so explain some, okay, so here is a pro and a con of Cota de Casa. Explain the HOA dues and the amenities that you get. So it's a pro and con, so explain. Yeah, so on one hand, the HOA dues actually are really, really low. So I believe they're, at, at the time of this filming, it's about two thirty five per month. For, mo for, for most of yeah, the communities, because yeah. there's like communities... Los Ranches Estates is higher. I think that's pretty much one, but yeah. like everything else is about that two thirty-five per month figure. And what you get with that is that one, it's guard gated throughout the entire community. Obviously, it's upkeep of the grounds, the streets. The grounds are very beautiful. Yeah, and the grounds are really well kept. Mm -hmm. You have horse trails slash hiking trails. Mm -hmm. You have uh, parks, so you have all this stuff kind of going on, which is great. Now, there's kind of a con in that because if you're looking for a little bit more. Then you, you, you it behoove you to actually join the Coto de Casa tennis, I mean, a golf and racket club. And basically, what this is, is that it this gets you. It's a country club. Yeah, it's a country club. Beautiful. Inside, yeah. yeah. Really nice. Like great amenities there as far mm -hmm. as it goes. You have tons of tennis courts, you have pickleball courts, you have lap pools, you have an adult pool, you have a fitness gym. Obviously, you have two 18 hole golf courses. So you have all this stuff. Now, you don't have to go for the full shebang getting the golf membership which will obviously get you all those amenities, mm -hmm. which also cost you a pretty penny, you can actually join, there's three tiers. There's the social tier, the tennis tier, and the golf tier. And the social tier is like the lowest price, but that gets you the lap pool, the adult pool, the fitness stuff, and also all the social events, because they have concerts, they have all the stuff going on in that, in, that, in that club. And so you can kind of join, and it's actually not, it's not unreasonable as far as the price goes. It's actually pretty nice, because they have actually family memberships. So, that, so it's kind of a pro and a con in that, obviously your, your initial HOA dues don't cover that kind of stuff, but actually for not too much more, you can actually get access to a fantastic club. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then since you mentioned all the activities that are there, um, one of the other pros about Cota de Casa is that it's very family friendly. Um, yes. Actually, so we have a video about the most family friendly cities in Orange County. It's and number five. It was number five, and this yeah. is according to niche.com, so they ranked it based off you know a bunch of different stuff. Yeah. So yeah, Cota de Casa is very family friendly, and one of the reasons is because of the schools as well. School's so really good. Yeah, so... You okay, have two so, major high schools right there. So right literally outside there. So there's no schools actually within Cota de Casa, yeah, the gated community. Yeah, within the gates, yeah. But like just outside the gates, you have Tesoro High School as well as Santa Margarita High School. So Santa Margarita is private. Yes, so. and Tesoro is a public school, part of the Capistrano Unified School District. Mm -hmm. and Which Cota is a Casa, really, really good school district. Yeah, and Cota de Casa is actually part, is within that school district. Yeah, so I mean, people either send their kids to the public schools in Capistrano, which are very good schools, or they tend to do the Santa Margarita, Santa Margarita which is, you know, a private school. Yes. So. And Santa Margarita is actually known for a lot of sports, particularly football. How much you want to make a bet I can throw a football over the mountains? 
And then here's another um, sort of pro and a con. Because, you know, Cota de Casa is a gated community and there's no real shopping or dining except for the three restaurants that are at. They did have a general store, although <laughs> it apparently it's closed now, and it really was a very small store. Yeah, yeah. I guess rumor, rumors are that they are going to reopen it with more shops and stuff, but again, nothing compared to what you would need for your normal creature comforts as far as like uh, normal supplies. Yeah, so they do have three restaurants inside the country club, but in terms of, you know, inside Cota de Casa, there's really no shopping and dining, but right outside at Rancho Santa Margarita. Yeah. Particularly the North Gate, yeah. Yeah, particularly the North Gate. There's really, like Rancho Santa Margarita has really good shopping and dining, so. And particularly right outside, like yeah, right that particular right pocket, outside, they actually yeah. have a lot. So it's kind of a, you know, it's a pro and a con. And then um, another, I would say, so probably the biggest con of Cota de Casa, in my opinion, is that it's kind of just really far out there. Yeah. So if you're looking for a central location, it's really not that. And it's by the 241, which is a toll road. And it Although it's funny though, yes, I agree with what you're saying. However, it, it it's actually surprising. If you actually clock it, it seems like it's far out of the way. But I'll give Orange County credit for the infrastructure. You do have the 241 freeway. Okay. okay, pro and con. It's, because, a, it's a toll road. Yeah, so it's a toll road, so it's it's con from the fact that it's a toll road. Pro, though, if, if you really want to want get, to get somewhere, it's nice to have that at your disposal. Yeah. And it's really only a few minutes. Like, actually, we're kind of clocking it where it's about, like, let's say you are on, off of Oso in the 5 freeway. It's about 13 minutes or so to get to, to, get to there. Mm -hmm. Whereas, if you're going to Laguna Niguel, like, you know, de, you know, even not that far in, you're pretty close to 13 minutes, too. So you're, you're not that far out of way. It just kind of seems that way. Yeah, but I mean, it's you, not. Yeah, it's it's but all. According, if yeah. you're if you're if you're thinking about Orange County as Central Orange County, Irvine, it's pretty far from that. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, a lot of people don't care. So yeah. <laughs> and then another con is that because it's more east, the weather compared to <laughs> okay. So he's smiling because we are totally spoiled Southern Californians when yes. we're like. It's a little bit above yeah. 75, which it, I don't like. Courtney was saying that 76 <laughs> is perfect. I'm like, no, for you, it's about 73. True. She really is very sensitive to the weather. Yeah. I mean, not to say that, obviously, we're all kind of wimps when it comes to the weather. Oh, huge. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I will say, though, that it, it's kind of a bit I don't know, frustrating, I would say. I'm just getting really, just kind of T.O. Well, what's so frustrating? Well, that really... Orange County, I mean, Orange County has the best weather pretty much in the Not world. Not pretty much, it does. It does, yeah. So <laughs> it's got amazing weather. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, being as be on the coast better, sure. Yeah. But if you're going to Kodo or, you know, that, you know, a little bit farther east, it's really not bad. And if you actually look at Orange County on the map, like if you look at a Southern California map and you look at the different counties, if you're in San Diego County, it goes way east. It's about like yeah. halfway through the width of the state. Yeah. And so, yeah, if you're out east in, in San Diego, it's going to be a very different weather situation than... It's like, the true desert. Yeah, in, in Orange County, actually, it doesn't, it doesn't go that far east. If you look at, actually, Orange County map, it's actually pretty narrow. And, in fact, pretty much half of that is the Cleveland National Forest anyway. So mm -hmm. it's actually even more narrow as far as the livable area. So I would actually say that you're going to have pretty good weather one way or the other. And since you were talking about the Cleveland National Forest, I would say that's probably, you know, the last thing that we're going to talk about in terms of pros is that, I mean, it's got some beautiful wilderness out there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the only thing is that it is the Cleveland National Forest, so that it's true wilderness. There's, sometimes you do get cougar sightings, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, I mean. But you, like, you have lots of hiking, mountain bike riding, running, mm -hmm. just a lot of, I mean, picturesque scenery, like, it's great Yeah, there. it's beautiful, for sure. So that's it. That's our video. But again, you've got to reach out to us to find that perfect place that you maybe want to move to or want to go see. And in order to do that, you got to either give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, or even message us on WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back when buying or selling home in Orange County.